Radiance Software Radiance is a suite of tools for performing lighting simulation originally written by Greg Ward. It includes a renderer as well as many other tools for measuring the simulated light levels. It uses ray tracing to perform all lighting calculations, accelerated by the use of an octree data structure. It pioneered the concept of high dynamic range imaging, where light levels are theoretically open-ended values instead of a decimal proportion of a maximum, e.g. 0.0 to 1.0 or integer fraction of a maximum 0 to 255-255. It also implements global illumination using the Monte Carlo method to sample light falling on a point. Greg Ward started developing Radiance in 1985 while at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. The source code was distributed under a license forbidding further redistribution. In January 2002, Radiance 3.4 was relicensed under a less restrictive license. One study found Radiance to be the most generally useful software package for architectural lighting simulation. The study also noted that Radiance often serves as the underlying simulation engine for many other packages. HDR Image Format Radiance defined an image format for storing HDR images, now described as RGB image format. Since it was the first and for a long time the only HDR image format, this format is supported by many other software packages. The file starts with the signature hash, Radiance, and then several lines listing the commands used to generate the image. This information allows the render object to continue a partially completed render either manually or using the RAD front end. There are also key equals value declarations, including the line format equals 32 bit RLE RGB. After this is a blank line signifying the end of the header. A single line describes the resolution and pixel order. As produced by the Radiance tools, this always takes the form of Y height plus X width. After this line follows the binary pixel data. Radiance calculates light values as floating point triplets, one each for red, green, and blue. But storing a full double precision float for each channel 8 bytes x3 equals 24 bytes is a burden even for modern systems. Two stages are used to compress the image data. The first scales the three floating point values to share a common 8-bit exponent taken from the brightest of the three. Each value is then truncated to an 8-bit mantis of fractional part. The result is 4 bytes, 32 bits, for each pixel. This results in a 6, 1 compression at the expense of reduced color fidelity. The second stage performs run-length encoding on the 32-bit pixel values. This has a limited impact on the size of most rendered images, but it is fast and simple. Scene Description Format a radiance scene is made from one or more object files. The rad format is a simple text file. It can specify individual geometric objects, as well as call programs by starting a line with an exclamation point. When specifying geometry, the first line is modifier type name. The following three lines contain parameters, starting with an integer specifying the number of parameters. The parameters need not be on the same line. They can be continued on multiple lines to aid in readability. Modifiers create materials and can be chained together, one modifying the next. For example, my ball Rad, Chrome Sphere Ball, zero, zero, four zero zero ten, ten. This can then be arrayed in another file using the XForm program described later. Scene, Rad, Void Metal Chrome, zero, zero, five zero point eight zero point eight zero point eight zero point nine zero point zero. X form a 5T200 my ball. Rad. This creates a chrome material and five chrome spheres spaced 20 units apart along the x axis. Before a scene can be used, 
it must be compiled into an Octree file. Opt using the Occam tool. Most of the rendering tools see below use an Octree file as input. Tools The Radiant Suite includes over 50 tools. They were designed for use on Unix and Unix-like systems. Many of the tools act as filters, taking input on standard input, and sending the processed result to standard output. These can be used on the Unix command line and piped to a new file or included in Radiance scene files. RAD themselves as shown above. Geometry Manipulation Several Radiance programs manipulate Radiance scene data by reading from either a specified file or their standard input and writing to standard output. XForm allows an arbitrary number of transformations to be performed on a RAD file. The transformations include translation, rotation around any of the three axes, and scaling. It also can perform multidimensional arraying. RIP marks replaces certain triangles in a scene with objects from another file, used for simplifying a scene when modeling in a 3D modeler. Generators Generators simplify the task of modeling a scene. They create certain types of geometry from supplied parameters. Genbox creates a box. Genoprism extrudes a given 2D polygon along the z-axis. Genrev creates a surface of revolution from a given function. Genworm creates a worm given four functions, the x, y, z coordinates of the path and the radius of the worm. Genshurf creates a tessellated surface from a given function. Jensky creates a description for a CIE standard sky distribution. Geometry Converters Radiance includes a number of programs for converting scene geometry from other formats. These include NFF2RAD converts NFF objects to Radiance geometry, Obj2RAD convert wavefront, Obj files to Radiance geometry, obj 2 convert wavefront, Obj files to a Radiance compiled mesh, piled mesh. This can then be included in a scene using the recently added mesh primitive. More efficient than using obj 4 and includes texture coordinates. Rendering, rendering, rendering. Arpict is the renderer, producing a Radiance image on its standard output. RVU is an interactive renderer opening and Z11 window to show the render in progress and allowing the view to be altered. Rtrace is a tool for tracing specific rays into a scene. It reads the parameters for these rays on its standard input and returns the light value on standard output. Rtrace is used by other tools and can even be used to render images on its own by using the V-Ray program to generate view rays to be piped to it. Dayfact is an interactive script to compute luminance values and daylight factors on a grid. FindGlare takes an image or scene and finds right sources that would cause discomforting glare in human eyes. Amculum takes a surface, e.g. a window or lampshade, and computes the lighting contribution going through it. This data is then used by the alum material modifier to make lighting from these secondary sources more accurate and efficient to compute. Image manipulation and analysis. Filt filters an image. The common technique to achieve anti-aliased images is to render several times larger than the desired size, and then filter the image down using filt. Pcompose composites images either with anchor coordinates or by adding several images on top of another. Pecan conditions images can simulate a number of effects of the human visual response e.g. defocusing dark areas veiling due to glare and color loss due to mesopic or scotopic vision in low light. Pinterp interpolates between two images provided they both have z-buffers. Uses rtrace to fill in gaps. Is used to speed up the rendering speed of simple animations. Zimages an image viewer for viewing HDR radiance images. It can adjust the simulated exposure and apply some of the human visual effects of Pecond. Integration RAD is a front end which reads a RIF file describing a scene and multiple camera views. Previously, make and a make file were used in a similar role. RAD coordinates Akond, 
Emculum are picked slash our view and other programs to render an image or preview from the source scene files. Trad is a GUI front end to RAD using TCL slash TK. Randomate is a front end which coordinates many programs to generate virtual walkthrough animations, i.e., the camera moves but the scene is static.